I've got a brother-in-law in Italy who, when he came to visit us, he told us in Italy, people only grew grapes on hillsides because it was known to be beneficial to, to quality. Well, I grew up on this ranch when it was a cattle ranch, and uh, in the 1980s, I was looking for something to do that might be economical. So we started with a couple of acres and eventually expanded the ranch, and uh, we only had hillsides, so we ended up planting hillsides. One thing that's hard about hills is that you've got nature working against you. You've got erosion issues in the winter. We have some areas on our ranch that we can't farm with a tractor. Farming on hillsides is far more difficult than farming on the valley floor. Given that this is what we had, and given the beauty that frankly is associated with hillsides, it was worth the effort. The advantage of hillside vineyards is that typically your soils are relatively restricted in terms of nutrition and water holding capacity. So you're able to control just how much water and nutrition get to the vines, which ends up constricting the amount of leaf surface you have in proportion to the amount of grapes. And all the research in the last 20 years shows that a reasonable amount of sunlight on the fruit itself is very, very helpful to get what are considered fruit-like characteristics into the fruit and then into the wine. It is really, I think, the soil restrictiveness in hills that leads to the year-in and year-out consistent product that consumers like.